All right, let's uh, assemble a robot in Google SketchUp. Open it up and press the Get Models button. That will take you to the 3D warehouse where you can search for any kind of model, and in this case, Tetrix parts. So type in Tetrix and you will find many parts. I need a channel beam to start my chassis. All right, go ahead and move your channel beam into position. I usually try to start from the origin of the coordinate system. The orbit tool here will rotate your view of the part so we can get different views of the beam. All right, I'm gonna choose the rotate tool because I wanna turn my uh, beam so that I can bolt the motor mounts to the bottom of it. So try and grab onto an edge or a corner and then click and then pull it along the line. Then you can start turning it or type the number of degrees that you want it to turn. I want it to completely flip over so I type in 180 degrees. Then go ahead and use the move tool to move the beam back into position. All right, I'm gonna get another model. I'm going to search for a motor mount and download that into my drawing. I'm gonna use the one that's DC motor with the motor mount so I have less work to do. As you can see, the motor mount and motor are not oriented in the correct position, so I'm going to need to use the rotate tool again once I've zoomed in and bring up this protractor, click on an edge and turn it Remember, you can type in the number of ang number of degrees you'd like and press enter. I actually have to rotate it twice, once to get it to lie down and then also uh, a second time so that it'll be rotated into the correct position. Finally, we need to move it into position with the move tool. This may take more than one step. Sometimes I find I have to move it into position and then zoom in real close and move it again so that the holes line up. All right, I need a wheel to put on this motor. So again, I go and download this uh, wheel from the 3D warehouse. It drops it into the uh, drawing, and again, we're gonna have to rotate it into the correct position. So you can see we've been using uh, the same tools over and over, the orbit tool, to change our view, the move tool to move parts around, and also the rotate tool to put them into the correct orientation. It requires a little bit of practice, but once you get used to it, you can design your robots on the computer, saving you a lot of time uh, before trying to actually build them. All right, I try to always make my life easy, so I'm going to use the arrow tool to choose both the motor mount and the wheel by using the shift key. And then I want to go edit, copy, and edit, paste, so that that whole thing is dropped into the drawing and we can reuse it. All right, I'm going to speed this up and move the motor into place. All right, now that I got that into place, I need another piece. Instead of downloading it from the website, I'm going to go to File, Import, and find the ones that I've already downloaded onto my computer. All 
All right, let me move this plate into place. And then I will show you how to copy this half of the chassis to make the other side in very few steps. All right, now that this is done, use the arrow tool and select the part you want to duplicate. Again, do Command C to copy or go up to the edit menu and then Command V to paste. So we will have a duplicate of the first side. You can see we have a little problem. The wheels are facing the wrong direction. There's a couple ways to do this. You could rotate it, but I prefer to go to the large tool set and use the scale tool. All right, you're going to see a bunch of points show up around the selected parts. You want to choose the correct axis, not diagonally. You want to change, choose the axis going in the direction of which way you want to flip it. I want this one because I want to flip it in that direction. Now you could scale it to make it longer, but what we really want to do is give it a scale of negative 1. So type that, negative 1, and then hit enter, and you will see that it will be mirrored just the way we want it. And now all we need to do is move it into position. All right, that's pretty much it. I've introduced you to the most important tools. You can go to YouTube and learn more about SketchUp. I'm just going to quickly reuse all those tools that we used before to finish my robot. I'm going to speed this up so you can see what my final robot looks like. 